Shoot a tell her how I feel bad She's the woman for me now She's a queen and a demon But let's not come through that I guess I roll and go Make you know ignore me You see me standing close I'm a OG Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Bosi Ngwangaposwa. Please do not leave without subscribing. So today's video came highly requested. A lot of you guys have been on my DMs asking me how I edit my pictures and how I actually edit my thumbnails. So today's video is dedicated to you guys. I am going to be showing you guys how I edit my pictures and then I'm going to show you guys how I do my thumbnails. Cause let's face it, it's very important for you to have a bomb, beautiful thumbnail in order for people to actually wanna click on your videos because YouTube may promote your video and the algorithm may agree with you at that time and actually promote your video and you will find that a lot of people will not click on it because of your thumbnail. So it's very, very, very important that you know how to edit your thumbnail and you know have a beautiful aesthetically pleasing thumbnail okay so let's get straight into the video um i am going to screen record my phone and i'm going to pop the screen recording over here so the first thing that i do is actually edit my pictures because i do makeup as you can see my makeup is popping on video so I wanted to pop also on my pictures and on my thumbnail. So I'm going to firstly um, edit my pictures. And the first app that I use is Face App. And I know that a lot of people will say Face App is catfishing and people will actually tell you that you do not look like your profile picture. Uso lapo na yagafani nganyake kota situli, situli, you know. We are minding our own. Go back to any filters I found. See if I get some beni. See if I get some lumen. So um, anyways, I use Face App. So I'm going to click on the Face App and then Gallery. I'm going to go to Albums and then I'm going to pick a favorite picture. So I'm going to use pictures from the other day that I took the other day. Uh, and then I'm going to start editing. So the trick with Face App is. I'm using the free version, but the trick with Face App is that it's important that you do not do too much because obviously we don't want to look like a catfish. And then I'm going to go to Makeup, and the free version only allows you to do Makeup 4, which is this one. Then they're going to process the photo and quicker, Face App. Quicker, quicker, quicker. Okay, cool. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference it just pops the makeup it just makes the makeup pop which is really 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 cool so it just highlights on the areas that you actually want to be highlighted and that's it i mean that's the only thing that you do on face app that i highly recommend that you do on face app please do not add blue eyes or like brows or anything like that your makeup should be popping before you actually edit the picture so yeah let's save that and as you can see this is the before and after let's click on this and as you can see this is the before and after the before is good but the after is better so we'll go with it so after using face app i will then go and click on lensa my favorite editing app again i am using the free version and the free version only um, allows you to edit three pictures a day so if you want to buy like the premium version i think it's like 300 bucks a year which is like um really really cool so i'm going to add the picture that i just edited from face app over here why is everything so slow today okay cool um now that it is here this app is one of my favorites because for one, you just have to click on one button and it edits everything for you. It highlights wherever you need highlighting and it actually shadows your contour so you actually look presentable, you know. It actually does, especially if you are um, doing your makeup and everything else. It's very, very, very cool to use. 
Okay, so you just press on the magic correction button and it just edits everything for you. So I'm not this light skinned, so I do not like it when it looks like this. So I'm not going to go for this edit, I'm just going to adjust the picture a bit, especially the foreground, which is my face, and I'm just going to decrease the exposure. So I actually look like myself. Okay, cool. Now it looks like it's me. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that light skinned. And I'm not orange either, so I'm going to decrease the saturation. Now the saturation is cool, but please, guys, if you increase the saturation, you're gonna look orange. And I know how you guys love looking orange, so please. Nobody is orange. So foreground. Um, I feel like this picture is it now, and then I'm going to increase the exposure for the background. So. Yeah, the picture looks brighter and then I'm going to save it. Okay, so once the picture is saved, I want to look at it carefully and see where else I need editing. But as you can see, it looks good. Like my face looks good. It even added like the skin texture that you actually need as human. Because like guys, we're people. You don't need your face to be smooth, smooth. We understand that you have makeup on, but nobody is that smooth. So as you can see, I still have a bit of texture on my skin, even though it's smooth than me, but you know, you can tell it's skin. However, my frontal is lifting because of this heat. So I'm gonna have to edit that also. So to edit my frontal lifting, I am going to go onto face tune. Um, and then I'm going to go on open photo, take the photo and I am going to edit just the frontal. So one thing about Facetune is it smoothens. So I am going to use the smooth um, feature and I'm just going to smoothen it so as to blend it to um, my skin so it doesn't look like it's um, lifting. So I'm using the pro version of um, this Facetune, Facetune 1. Um, yeah, I bought it a long time ago. I think it was a hundred and something brands. Um, yeah. And it's very very easy to use it's user friendly and i just i just love it so as you can see the lace doesn't look like it's lifting anymore before after let me zoom in before and after okay cool so now i am going to edit and i want to crop out the face app nobody wants to see that you're using face app and the most important thing that I do is I actually go to crop and then I go to this icon at the top and I want it to be 16 by 9 which is what we use on YouTube um, which is what the thumbnail has to be so I am going to go for 16 by 9 and it will crop itself um, to 16 by 9 and I'll press done um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to do my thumbnail now. So for the thumbnail, the only app that I use for my thumbnails is Canva. So I'm going to open Canva. So I feel like everybody knows Canva and everybody uses Canva. Um, it's quite an obvious choice. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how um, I actually find um the fonts that i actually want to use on my uh, pictures or thumbnails okay so for me they're already suggesting um youtube thumbnail because i'm always doing thumbnails with my canva app and then i'm going to go on to blank and it will automatically show you a 16 by 9 format and you're going to use that and actually add your picture or the photo that you just edited okay so okay I'm going to go to camera roll and then I am going to add the picture that I just edited which one is it this one 
and then I'm just going to fit it in just like that so the next thing that I want to do is I want to add my text so my thumbnails always look like this I like them like this because I'm actually showing off my makeup and if it's a chit chat get ready with me or if I'm doing a story time then I will add it on my text um, because the main thing that I want you guys to see is actually my makeup so I'm going to add text and they will suggest a million fonts to you and they will tell you if the font is free or if you need the pro version to use the font which is quite easy so for me personally I like this font I always use this font as my main um, heading so I'm going to use this font and I'm going to just delete this part I'm just going to delete this part this angel of brewing thing I'm going to delete it element and then I'm going to edit this one so let's say um, I am doing a chit chat get ready with me uh, so I'm just gonna type in chit chat get ready with me um, and then I'm going to expand it so it looks nice and then from here I want to choose the color that I want so I am going to choose any color so over here you can choose any color so let's pick blue um, okay so for me the one thing that I like or one thing that stands out for me when using this font and actually using Canva is the fact that you can change the effect so for me the most important thing that I do here is I like the neon effect so 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 much I feel like it brightens the font or it brightens the writing and it gives it that you know thing so chit chat get ready with me I normally put it to um yeah 96 and you can uh use this feature here so you can decrease the font size or you can increase it so i like it to be this small so i normally put it at 81 so that it's bright enough to be seen but not bright enough to actually hide my face so and then next i am going to add i like this font also to actually give you guys an idea of what i'll be talking about at that time so i'm just going to edit it let's say um, i'm talking about how men are embarrassing because child they are embarrassing how do you spell embarrassing? Okay, I don't care. And then I'm just going to um, fit it to the whole thing. And that's it. But then I feel like it's it's it hides my face. So I'm just going to put it at the top. And this one also, I'm just going to put it at the top. Move it to the top. And that's pretty much everything that i do um it's pretty much all that i do so i will also change the color because i feel like this color is not bright enough and i'll just use black and that's it that's it the next thing that you do is save your image um and you're done and that's your thumbnail it's so 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 easy and canva is very user friendly so I highly, highly recommend it. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend using the apps that I just use. And this is pretty much all that I do when it comes to editing my thumbnail. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And I hope that you guys really liked this video. And if you did, please do not leave without subscribing. Do like, comment. Tell me what you think in the comments section. And also let me know if you need any other help when it comes to YouTube, especially if you are a beginner. I am here, I am willing to help. Just let me know down below in the comment section. And yeah, I will definitely do a video for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye for now.